what is up youtube it's coffee or prodigy back in the video and today this video is actually coming out kind of late this news actually came out yesterday i was actually at work yesterday and by the time i got home it would have been like 12 o'clock like, that's literally when i'm recording this for you like look up here my time says like that because it's in military time but like it would have been 12 o'clock by the time i got back but um yeah we're going to be going over the news that we have on season five we're going to be going over all of it in general as far as like the new uh blog they released because we generally go over every single blog if you guys want to see uh, me go over the past blog i guess i'll make a playlist once i finish recording this and if you guys want to see my thoughts on those at that time then you guys can go back and check those out um but uh yeah we're gonna be going over everything that new that ended up coming out we're gonna be going over some of the uh new cards in the video that drl released i'll leave a link to his video in the description as well as well as the new ui which from also from his video so you guys can go ahead and check both of those are gonna be the two or the second and the third link because the first link is going to be the blog that uh, they end up releasing for uh, season five. And then we'll also talk about, like, as I said, like the new UI as well as like my thoughts on this thing now that I had like time to think about it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start off. Um, We start off this blog. We're gonna uh, flip between like the blog and like the uh, the videos that DRL ended up releasing as well as like the uh, stuff we got from 2K themselves. So let's start off the blog with uh, the Tatum cover athlete, which I actually like this. Uh, the screen looks kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. If you haven't already seen, I definitely recommend checking out the blog. I said first thing in the description, but the blog, I mean, the uh, screen looks kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie, Damian Lillard, uh, he's kind of kind of iffy as far as like, um, because he didn't play this season. Hopefully, hopefully Tatum plays this season. Um, technically, they didn't know Dave Lillard wasn't gonna play, but uh, Tatum in this game, also, he looks kind of weird. I'm gonna put a screenshot of like, his face on the screen. They like used him for like promotion. At some point, like when they were like showing off like new season graphics, I'm like, yo, Tatum, that doesn't really like Tatum. Why y'all using that? But um, yeah, uh, we got Tatum as the new cover athlete. When they made Dame the cover athlete, I hope I could find a picture of how he looked in season four. They updated how he looks now, and we're also getting getting new players. So I'm also gonna talk about that with uh the information we're getting. But um, yeah, we got the new Jason Tatum cover athlete. Pretty dope. I like the screen. Looks pretty cool and all that. Um, moving on. Um, we also have our cards carrying over. If you guys didn't know that, um, cards, collectibles, coins, rings, and gear are all going to be carrying, uh, keys, pump-ups, and energy are all going to be carrying over into next season. I was kind of wish they would have told us about this earlier. Like, honestly, like, towards the end of the game, my mentality was, like, I'm not about to play this. Like, I've, I had, like, no reason to play the game, honestly. Like, if I would have known gear is going to be carrying over, I would have probably played it a lot more. Because, basically, my thoughts are, like, um... So basically, we already know next season we're going to be able to turn our cards into mentors next season. So next season, the cards, and as we've already seen, the cards are going to be a lot more powerful, or the stats are going to be a lot higher next season. So I feel like my thoughts like next season is not about to be that hard to get the cards from next season all the way up to like level five, max them out, and turn them into a mentor, which are already going to be more powerful than the cards are this season. Even if like that's like a lesser known player or whatever it is, like whether it's like a because like the from like the lower tier players, so. That, that was my thoughts as far as that goes. Um, but like since we're gonna be having our gear carry, I would have honestly played more head to head if I would have known our gear was gonna be carrying over. Like honestly, I didn't play any of the events. That's why you guys didn't really see any videos. Like I didn't play any of the events. The only event I'm technically playing is Domination. That's weird because I upgraded my team for like the uh final days of uh season five. And now I'm able to hold like a stadium and because they I, it was really dope. Honestly, it's dope like they hundred percent boost your team, like cool and all. But uh yeah, it's the only event I'm playing technically because I don't have to actually play it. And it's just like racking up the points. Eventually, we're going to open this. I guess we'll do a video once we do an opening that. But yeah, honestly, I didn't really see a point to playing um, the game towards the end. If I would have known we're going to be getting geared, because I was like, I'll pull like I don't know if it's this is intentional. But I'm on like a streak of like three epic gears in a row. Like I literally got, um, this is like, we're kind of getting sidetracked. I'm going to put, there's going to be time steps in the description if you guys want to skip through uh, some of this stuff. But um. I've literally pulled three epic gears in like the past three ones. So I got like a Hornets one, a Wizards one, and I got I think I got another Wizards one as well. So yeah, um, if I would have known gears gonna be carrying, like I would also have been trying to grind up my gear to try to get more gear so we can start off next season off on a better note. Especially since I guess that also means stats are gonna be the same. So if you guys are hoping for like stats to turn into like more of like a number system, saying like this pip system right here, what they call it, because I've seen them call it pips in the past. Um, is that a pip system that they have right here? then I guess um, you are in for a rude awakening. That is not about to happen. But uh, yeah, we're still going to have the same stat system. I'm assuming stats going to be updated or upgraded, uh, assuming a player performed well, and then downgrade assuming a player didn't perform well, so stuff like that. Uh, moving on with this, um, 
coins, collectibles. Collectibles is kind of interesting. Um, basically, that means you'll be able to craft cards from previous themes, which is going to be kind of useful, but kind of not because I'm guessing they won't be reusing those themes. It'll be interesting because, like, next season, I'm assuming they're going to have some variation of a Rainmaker theme. So I'm like, does it make sense? Or they'll definitely, like, for example, they'll definitely have, like, a variation of a playoffs theme because like, we're having the playoffs next year. So, like, is this smart? Just, like, if hypothetically, you have, like, playoff collectibles right now, would you just save your playoff collectibles? Or would that just be, like, playoff theme 2, technically, as they would call it next year? It'd just be, like, a new collectible or something like that. But it'll be interesting. As of right now, I'm just, I'm not going to use any of my collectibles because I have no reason to. Um, So, yeah, especially since they're carrying over. Like, I don't have to use them. Like, my plan was, like, just use them all and, like, carrying them over into next season. But since they're carrying over, you don't really need to use your collectibles right now. I would honestly recommend trying to save them for, like, a future event in case any of those collectibles end up getting reused. And then if that doesn't happen, like, I guess you just have, like, cards for training. You weren't going to do anything with those cards regardless. Because if you were going to do something with them, then you would already craft the card. So, yeah, as of right now, I'm just going to save my collectibles. Um, as far as the pump-ups and energy and the uh, coins, um, it's nice pump-ups are getting carried over. We're not going to get a uh, bronze or silver pump-ups anymore, as we'll find out later in the article or in this blog. I'm not going to go over that part. I kind of just took notes on this whole blog. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to be getting bronze or silver pump-ups, so like, that's good, I guess. Uh, but uh, the energy thing, I guess, is dope that you'll be able to uh, keep your energy. I literally use all my energy, like, in, as I said, in anticipation for the next season. Like, I'm assuming this stuff isn't going to carry over. I kind of wish that we knew, about, as I said, about this stuff carrying over earlier because, like, that's um reason that i don't I, I don't have to use all my energy on like uh what's the name uh season 47 simulations if i know my card is going to be carrying over if you know what i mean um but yeah uh moving on um also i hope that doesn't mean that we're getting the same energy bar because like i my have my grievances with the energy thing like this thing takes two hours to refill this takes this takes three hours to refill it's because it's we're in domination right now but for domination it takes one hour 30 minutes to refill because they each take 30 minutes each but hopefully we end up getting an energy upgrade as far as like uh these taking longer times to refill and like the uh energy actually being worth it but hopefully that does happen in the future uh moving on uh yeah i believe that's it for this first part right here so mo yeah moving on um it's like probably to drl video uh, we're going to be getting a new jersey and courts or updated jerseys and courts for our teams whatever team you're using and then you're going to get a court Right, we're also getting a new cruise court if you guys care about that. We're getting a new cruise court as well. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be getting updated jersey and courts um for next season. Assuming your jersey or court is outdated, then I guess it's gonna be getting updated. Hopefully, um next season there's be like a variation in jerseys. Um we'll see what happens. But uh moving on, um we're also gonna be getting new players. Um starting off right uh, in the game. If you guys as I said check out the DRL video if you guys want more information and want to see the whole collection, because I'm just gonna go over various players that I saw. Um, starting off, Jose Alvarado, Bones Highland, Keldon Johnson, uh, Chris Boucher, Rick Fox, Antoine Jameson, Eldon Brand. There's a lot of other cards. I'm not about to name out all of them because there's actually a lot of them. So if you guys want to see all of them, go ahead and check out that video um, from DRL. And then also, some of the things I saw that I just wasn't too big of a fan of as far as this goes. I'm, I'm complaining a lot right now. We're going to like be like hyping Schemo up a lot. Really a lot later on. Low-key on. Never mind. But like, we're going to be hyping them up a lot later on. But DeJounte and Trey Young are still playing point guard. Um, so you can't play DeJounte and Trey on the same team because DeJounte can't play shooting guard, which probably is what's going to happen in real life. And then Cat, Carly Towns, and Rudy Gobert are still playing center. So you can't play Carly Towns and Rudy Gobert on the same team. So instead of moving Carly Towns down to power forward, you're just not allowed to play them on the same team, which is kind of weird. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm, I doubt that's going to be fixed at any point next season. So hopefully in season seven, we'll get a fix as far as like when players are on the same team in the NBA or when players play at the same time together, they definitely weren't playing the same position. They're on the court together. So like hopefully we get a fix to that at some point in the future. Uh moving on. Um we get a new home screen. Um I've seen it. It looks pretty dope. Way better than this one right here. I wanna like look at like the I'm trying to find a screenshot of like season three's uh home screen. I feel like cause I feel like this one was better and then they're just like they're just they just keep on getting better with the home screen. Um I'm personally not a big fan of Personally, the cruise guy right here. I don't play cruise at all, so it's like he's kind of just in the way. And like, the, but the screen looks actually cool. I don't, like you guys see on the screen, but that also came from the DRO video. It came from another video um, when he talked about the tourneys and stuff. Um, we're not gonna get too much into the tourneys in this video, so if you guys want to ch check that out, I guess you can watch that video um, on your own. But uh, yeah, moving on. Um, basically, that's basically it as far as like the whole blog and stuff. If you guys want to check out the rest of the blog, um, you guys are 
more than welcome to do that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the uh, season five, my whole season five thing that I just like, like as I was like writing this up down, it's like kind of interesting what they did here. It's kind of genius. Um, but yeah, if we go ahead. Uh, it's kind of like season five, part two in a way, but kind of in a good way. So you guys know, like seeing people like um, they games create like the next season of the game. But that's like literally like the same thing. Like it's it basically like this season is basically season four all over again, except we have a new event and we have various new cards that pop up throughout the season to make the season like actually feel different. But generally, it's basically the same thing. Um, they're basically doing kind of the same thing here a little bit, but like you know, kind of like a different way. So basically, uh, you start off um, at Dark Matter. So at Dark Matter, you're at the I believe it's like the 12th highest tier. I believe Dark Matter is the 12th highest tier. It doesn't really matter. But um, at Dark Matter, let's see, 1, 2, 3, yeah, 5, 10. Yeah, so our Dark Matter, you have the 12th highest tier. We're going to be having, so imagine there's a new tier under Onyx, under Diamond, and under Pink Diamond. So three tiers to the right of the Dark Matter tier. We're going to be having three near two new tiers for you to go up to. So, which is, I would say is kind of interesting. Um, they're basically reusing the content for new players to get into the game. So if you, like, never played the game, this doesn't really matter to you. All right. Is that if you never played the game, then like you don't really notice like what's going on here. But basically, there's like uh five, ten, twelve tiers of content for you to get to before you get up to to where we are now with like the topaz, the J and the emerald, or J and the pearl um tiers that are going to be coming up. So for new players, um you, you don't have to worry about people saying like oh where all my cards go. You're technically just continue on with your cards in the next season if. You still have the people that want to be like, oh, I want mentors now. You can basically just turn your cards into mentors. So it's kind of, they kind of like solve two things, like uh, only doing one thing, which is really interesting, as well as giving like new players like lots of content. The only thing about this is that I'm just questioning how hard it'll be for a new player to go from bronze, because that's what they're starting off at, at this point, all the way up to pearl at the, from the, over like the course of one season. Because like, honestly, it takes a cool, I mean, like, respectfully like if you're like doing like everything like if you're just on your p's and q's and everything like that like i've done it before it takes like a month to go from like bronze all the way to uh pink diamond um i'm wondering if um also this also ties to another thing if in events we're gonna be getting like pink diamond dark matter are we gonna be getting tears are we gonna be getting cards from, like every single tier so are we gonna be getting like uh dark matter galaxy level pink diamond uh diamond onyx are we gonna be all those cards i'm questioning that's gonna happen if that's not how it's gonna work it'll probably be better because if you're a new player it'll be like oh you just went from bronze but this first event you just now start off the game um we're starting off at ruby so you can just get your our yeah if you're starting off at ruby so you get yourself a ruby car or if the they start off with lowest amethyst or if they start off lowest diamond then you get yourself a diamond car from the first event that ever comes out if it's like that then it, it'll kind of make sense as far as the uh how the uh events work so where because i doubt Cause I'm really, I'm really wondering how they'll do this. So for like events, for example, like our new players, like when people first start off the game, are we basically just gonna have all these cards plus the uh what is it called topaz jade? I'm not. It's gonna take me a while to remember this. Topaz jade and pearl. We'll see how that works. I'm really concerned. That's the only thing, main thing. That's the main thing that's really concerning me right now, as far as like how they'll uh end up making the grind for newer players. Cause newer players, it's a lot more to grind than uh for current players right now so current players they don't really have to do that much you just gotta grind three more tiers which isn't really gonna be that difficult um we've seen the powers they're not that much higher than where our uh dark mirror is actually not yeah they're not that much higher as far as base power they're probably lower if you especially if you upgrade your dark matter cards a lot than where your dark matter cards are right now but for uh newer players to the game the grind seems like it'll be a like a very long grind depending on how they go about like doing the event and stuff we'll see what happens once the game does end up coming out but just yeah, basically the whole video um is there anything else i wanted to talk about um so yeah that's basically the thing so when you're a new player you basically start like negative 12 when you're when you just start off the game like when season uh when season five comes out i'm basically gonna be at the point of zero and then you have to get the three to that at that point and then you have to grind to every single new tier so it's, it's it'll be kind of interesting to see what they do that's basically the point that i'm trying to make there hopefully i made that well enough and i don't have to re-record this but yeah that's basically the entire video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the new season five news um the new ui the uh new tiers um it's not really that for technically for uh us it's not or for people that are already playing the game right now there's not really that much new that we're getting we're getting new players 
which I guess like it's technically not that much new that we're getting like considering, but are technically not that much new that we're getting considering like past seasons. Like we don't really get we didn't really get that many new players at the beginning of last season. Like we're getting a new players, we're getting a new mode, and we're getting three new tiers. Technically, like when you start off a season, you're starting off with like bronze, silver, um, sapphire. You're starting off with like a whole new collection of cards. Um, and then from us, like when we're starting off this season, we're starting off with three new tiers. We're starting off with a new tourneys mode, and then we're also I think that's it. Like besides like yeah, because I'm assuming I'm assuming we're gonna still have like domination and then all the other events. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um. Technically, not that much new is happening for us. There's more new happening for newer players. I feel like this update is more catered towards uh, newer players in the game. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's dope that we're getting new uh, players added to the game, though. Uh, if you guys, I said, if you guys want to see that whole list, then go ahead and check out the DRL video. But, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are going to do. And uh, peace out.